Hey guys, Greg here, The Vinyl Rundown, a special midweek edition. Guess where I went after work today? That's, that's what the back of my car looked like about uh, 20 minutes ago. Can you guess what just happened to me? Yeah, that's right. I did it again. I did it again. Uh, had to stop by the Goodwill after work. I just had a feeling. I just had a feeling. And oddly, this was there, an actual Gibson. Very cheap Gibson Baldwin student model. You see that on there? 35 bucks. And I'm like, well, I just did a video about Gibson that uh, really was really successful. I got a 2,000 views in the first 24 hours because the uh, the Gibson video about the Mark Agnesi, blah, 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 the lawsuits, that thing really popped. So uh, anyway, I'm looking at this guitar and uh, I hear the side of the store a guy say you guys take vinyl records and I'm like yeah this will be interesting I think I'll hang around for that and uh, he brought in uh, two boxes and I'm like can I go through those right away and uh, guess what happened guys guess what happened I'm feeling a little guilty and a little bit uh, you know the addiction is strong but uh, that's what a day in the goodwill look, looks like for me. Let's go through some records and uh, see what we got for a buck a piece. You know, the guy bringing them in, the older guy, was like gray hair, 70s. I'm like, okay, more Glenn Miller. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is all right. Now, what is this platinum thing? You guys ever seen that? Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, you're going to get it. Platinum Plus, is that a special thing? Does that mean this record went platinum? I have no idea. Uh, got the nice sleeve. It's got the nice sleeve. Picture sleeve, whatever. Uh, my wife's favorite, Tom Petty. You know what? I gotta shuffle these because the good ones, if the good ones all come first, there's not gonna be a, a strong ending to this video. Okay. How about some Johnny Winter progressive blues experience? Experiment. Johnny Winter, the great, my favorite albino blues guitar player. Rolling and Tumbling, that's a good tune. Anyway, we got to go through these fast guys because you don't have all day. I'm going to move my chair, my table, whatever this thing is. Dylan, I don't really know this record, but Dylan for a buck, I'm going to grab it. Alan Pasqua plays keyboards on here, the uh, jazz guy. Anyway, I don't know this record. What song is around here? Bob Dylan for a buck. You cannot go wrong. Okay, how about more Bob Dylan for a buck? I guess this person likes Bob Dylan. New Morning. David Bromberg. Al Cooper. 1970. This is much older. I guess that's a good one. I'm not a Dylan expert. I know his popular stuff. We have a couple of his records. This is in beautiful shape. Two Bob Dylans for two dollars. Sorry about the crinkling noise. Oh, 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 it's crinkly. Uh, how's the view? Guitars. How about some blues, Freddie King? Freddie King, Boogeyman, Hoochie Coochie Man. I think I showed Freddie King a couple weeks ago that I got at a estate sale. So, uh, all right, Freddie King. Who Live at Leeds. Guys, this is a really excellent Goodwill find. There were two big boxes, all classic rock. I only got 30 ones that I really thought were good. Who Live at Leeds. It's got Substitute. It's got My Generation. It's got Magic Bus. It's got a weird sleeve. Super Saver? What is that? That didn't look like an original sleeve to me. Who likes the dead? I'm trying to focus up here. The dead. Two records set. Uh oh, guys, there's a little bit of mold. Black mold. We'll have to clean that off. And uh, it's got the cutout thing. But uh, good shape otherwise. Cut out. Cut out. I had two of these. I picked the better one. 
two copies of Janis Joplin, Cheap Thrills. There's Janis Joplin, member of the 27 Club. I remember when she died when I was just a kid. She's got the psychedelic stage show going. This is the classic one. Peace of my heart, summertime. And uh, the beautiful cover by, uh, is that Robert Crumb? Is that his name? Somebody Crumb. With the, uh, I guess that's him. R. Crumb, I should say. Okay. I don't know this record at all, but it looked like it was some kind of classic deal, so who is this? Humble Pie. Humble Pie, eat it. I know of Humble Pie, but I don't really know them. Was that Peter Frampton's old group? Oh, it's got a book. Nice booklet. I went through these really fast in the store, guys. Uh, I just grabbed them, so I didn't look very carefully. But that's in beautiful shape. I don't know much about it, but I know it's a classic, so... Lots well, of Allman Brothers, Wasted Words, Southbound Ramblin' Man. Is this the greatest hits? Check the oil, check the oil, yada yada. Is this live or is this a greatest hits? Introduction by Bill Graham. That sounds like it's a live record, which is cool. Dickie Bits, Greg Allman, Chuck Level, Butch Trucks. All right. Love the Almond Brothers. Uh oh, I gotta shuffle these again, guys. I don't want all the good ones to come off the top. There's a good one. For a buck? Are you serious? A two record set, Lou Reed Live. Heroin. Sweet Jane. All that stuff. Lou Reed, Velvet Underground Live. This is probably one of the most valuable records in the bunch. And it's got plastic sleeves. Neil Young Harvest, what do I need another copy for? I might break my other copy, who knows. I got extras on some of these guys, some of these I have two and three copies of and I'll give them away to either my son or his little friends or other kids I try to get into vinyl. Yep, we got some more Neil Young. Would you pay a buck for Neil Young Rest Never Sleeps? I'm feeling guilty guys, I really am. Okay, here's Here's a record. If I have a copy, it's in terrible shape, so here's a copy in better shape. Burn, Deep Purple, Richie Blackmore. Uh, Burn, Mistreated. Some classic 70s, early long-haired rock and roll. Got the original doodad in it. How are we looking here, guys? Focus. I think this is way too light. I'm going to cut down the aperture. It probably still doesn't look good. I don't know this record. Rare Earth Ecology? It looks uh, 60's psychedelic, so I've heard of it. I just don't really know what it is. Rare Earth Ecology, it's got, a, it's got Eleanor Rigby on it. You guys tell me, is this a good record? More Deep Purple. This is also the classic one to get. Machine Head Highway Star. Smoke on the Water. Lazy. I like playing that song Lazy on the guitar. I used to play that. Okay, it's going on too long. Hurry up, Greg. My wife loves the cure. Turns out she may already have this, so I'll have to give it away to some some kid. Now here's the big disappointment of the day. Are you ready? Greg, why are you disappointed? I didn't go through these records very carefully. Almond Brothers, live at Fillmore East. Classic, classic. One of the Almond Brothers' best, be, best albums. One of the best jam concert albums of its era. Who's in there, mate? There's nobody home in there. I got one record and holes for two records for a buck. Okay. What am I going to do? I don't know. Bummer. Two record set. What? Are you serious? Yeah, that's right, guys. It's the white album, but it's got the, the, uh, the, what do you call it there? 
the gray lettering so it's not super desirable. Any photos in here? I didn't check for photos and posters. Oh, what do you know, mate? These are so thin. Oh, those are those are crappy guys. I got I got original ones that are nice and thick. They look like photos. These look like magazine paper. Yeah, not nearly as good as the originals. Whatever. Is there supposed to be a poster with this? Or just photos? I don't remember. And there's a bit of mold going on here. Bit of mold. But the classic. Oh, guess what, guys? Guess who's on this record? Guess who's on this record? Mr. Dead Insect is on this record. Usually you get a few twigs and seeds, but today we got dead insects. All right, what else, guys? I'm shuffling these records. I don't want to get to the punchline too early. You know what they say. You don't want to blow it early. How about some classic blues, John Lee Hooker? Uh, let's see. Okay, checking the camera here. Boogie chillin', whiskey and women. Frisco, she shot me down. Classic blues. I might already have this. I might already have this, but I definitely don't have it for a buck. God, I'm feeling guilty. You guys want to do some trades if you're in LA? The Birds. It's not the Fifth Dimension. It's The Birds. And it's got... Wow. Hey Joe. Eight Miles High, which is the classic. Hey Joe. John Riley, Mr. Spaceman. What's happening? What's... Uh-oh. We're sleeveless. We got no sleeve and we got some filth. But actually it's in uh, decent shape. The vinyl's looking clean. One of the few records in this batch that is sleeveless. You guys know Delaney and Bonnie Bramlett, very closely associated with Eric Clapton in the early 70s. Only you know and I know he recorded that song for him, but Eric is not on here. Uh, here's a song you need to know about, guys. What's it called there? Groupie. Also known as Superstar. Also known as Leon Russell wrote that song, Superstar, that the, the uh, Carpenters had the big hit with, long ago and so far away. That song supposedly is about Eric Clapton as the mega superstar that the girls were throwing themselves at when he was touring with these guys. So I think they recorded it before uh, Leon Russell and before the Carpenters. So, And you guys know the Sonic Youth version. Great song. Um, this seems pretty clean, but what what is all this? There's some weird texture on here. What could that be? Bong water, maybe? Somebody bought this for, does that say a dollar? No. Yeah, somebody bought this for 99 cents already. I'm feeling bad. But Delaney and Bonnie, 1972. How about, how about three records set for a dollar? Is that a good deal? The band, the last waltz, classic, classic concert. Lee Von Helm, Robbie Robertson, a little bit of Eric Clapton, Bob Dylan, Amy Lou Harris, Dr. John just passed away. Van Morrison is on here, Muddy Waters. Uh, that's a good little find. They also had Rock of Ages, which I left there because I think I have it. I probably screwed it up and I probably now have two copies of this. And no Rock of Ages. I didn't have time to look up all the stuff on my phone, guys, because... Uh, it was a free-for-all. Dickie Betts, former or the guitar player for Almond Brothers, Great Southern. I saw him open up once for, who was it? Bachman Turner Overdrive? I don't know. Early 70s. The only jazz record in this pile is a Dave Brubeck record that I've never seen. But Dave Brubeck is one of those artists. If I see something for a buck, I'll probably get it. This has a bunch of, uh, are you serious? This has... I can't believe the list of artists that are on here. This doesn't make any sense. Louis Armstrong. Paul, well, obviously Paul Desmond. Charlie Mingus is on here. Thelonious Monk is on here. Jim Montgomery. Is that Wes Montgomery's brother? I don't know. 
Jerry Mulligan, Jimmy Rushing. All those people are on here? This record's sounding more interesting. I don't, I don't know what special guest stars. Look at all the special guest stars. Wow. Sea Jam Blues with Thelonious Monk. That old black magic with Tony Bennett. Traveling Blues with Carmen McRae. That's a very interesting record I've never seen before. How about this one, mate? This one any good? It's worth a buck, isn't it? Somebody sent me a Keith Richards meme joke today. What the heck was it? This older friend of mine. Oh, this is a little bit thrashed, guys. Black and blue, hot stuff. Memory Motel is one of my favorite tunes that is totally unknown and underrated by your casual fans. Memory Motel, she got a mind of her own and she used it well. Early 70s classic. Classic Stones. Do I have a copy? Probably have at least a copy somewhere. This is a classic record. History of Eric Clapton, kind of a greatest hits. Early days. I think I have a copy already. Now I have two copies. I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize, VC. Okay, we're getting down to some nitty and some gritty here, guys. Jeff Beck Truth. I think the copy I have... Oh my god, there's no sleeve, guys. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little... It's really dirty. Oh, which label is it? It's the, uh, it's the blue epic label, not the orange epic label. Jeff Beck Truth. Yardbirds, Shape of Things, You Shook Me, Rock My Plimsoll, Bolero, and Superstitious. Is Rod Stewart singing on this? Classic record. May have to give it away. Uh, yeah. I don't have this already, guys. Bob Dylan. Slow train coming. I'm telling you guys, I left... I left three quarters of the records behind that I didn't get. So, I had to make some real quick decisions, but that's a Bob Dylan. That's a Bob Dylan with the backup band, Lee Von Helm and uh, Robbie Robertson. More Bob Dylan. I just tripled my Bob Dylan collection today, guys. This has a uh, special sleeve thingy, split seam. Oh, completely split. Let's glue right up, no problem. Now we're getting some nitty and some gritty. Two records left. Yeah. If you saw this for a buck, would you buy it? Of course you would. Sleeve is looking good. Ooh. Bad, bad news, guys. This is this might have been one of his favorite records because it is oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. What's going on here? Okay. God is punishing me. This record is cracked. Wow. Jesus. And by doing what I just did, I just kind of added some plastic that didn't. Oh god. Cracked Floyd. Cracked Floyd. What do you do with Cracked Floyd? <sighs> okay. Is this my third copy? My third copy is Cracked. Alright, it's not the end of the world, guys. Get over it. I hope it's not like a super rare pressing or anything. Oh, oh, it's signed by the whole band. No, just kidding. It ain't signed by anything. That was the first record that I saw when I got there that looked like, hey, this is good news. This is about the third record in the, in the stack. It's over, guys. The last one. Jimmy. Jimmy. Um, soundtrack recording from the film, 1973. This is after Jimmy died. Hey, Joe, Red House, Purple Haze, Like a Rolling Stone, Star Spangled Banner, Machine Gun. A lot of great tunes on here. I'm a pretty big Jimmy fan. Can you tell?
This is good. Got me the Stratocasters and whatnot. Love the Jimmy. Uh, crack record. That's the second crack record I've shown in the last couple months, guys. My copy of Robert Fripp Exposure was cracked, but playable. Ooh, there's a beautiful blonde hair on here. wonder if I can track down the owner of that. Yeah, this is in good shape. Oh, shoot. I'm splitting the seam. So, guys, it was a good day at the Goodwill. And it's really hard to spend 20 and 30 bucks on a single copy of a record when you can get 20 or 30 records for a buck a piece. And now i got to clean all these and catalog them. What's with the weird uh, disintegration up here, guys? Can you see that? Was that chewed on by a rat or just mishandled? Or, or what is that? Okay, guys, I didn't do a, uh, hold on, don't shoot. I didn't do a good, uh, hold on. I gotta say, goodwill run, and I gotta put this on camera, you know. Goodwill run of the day, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Guess what I got at the goodwill? Maybe that'll be the cover shot. Uh... If you're in Los Angeles, if you're in the West San Fernando Valley, it's probably too late. By the time you see this video, it'll all be gone. Uh, anyway, guys, that's my message. you got to get to the Goodwill when the records get there. And that means you got to go often. And if you're not willing to go often, you're going to constantly complain. They don't have anything there. They do have stuff there. They have great stuff there. And if you're not there to get it, somebody else is going to get it. And uh, I guess that's enough for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, check out my Gibson guitar video if you haven't seen that. My most popular video ever. 2,000 views one day. Uh, and thank you for the support. And uh, keep spinning the vinyl. Check you later.